Hi, I'm Stormy Daniels, and you're watching Inside McNeese. There are amazing individuals right here in Lake Charles. Michelle Ammons will share with us one McNeese professor story. If you have ever walked into McNeese's very own Sherman Fine Arts Building, unique and beautiful artwork is what you will find. The talent of the students and the professors is very impressive. I had the honor to speak with Professor Ken Baskin, who teaches ceramics at McNeese. He told me about his life before he was teaching and why he decided to take the path that he did. My relationship with ceramics started back in high school when I was 16 years old. The first time I learned when I graduated high school, I was making 12 inch cylinders on a potter's wheel and I found my love of clay at that point. But what I didn't have at that point were the tools necessary to follow a life in ceramics. Even though I loved it, frankly, I was scared. You know, we've all heard the stories about the starving artists. Well, nobody really wants to be one. And I didn't want to be one either. So I was afraid to follow this when I was younger. So I took what I considered to be the safe route, and I went into a family business, packaging of all things, swimming pool chemicals. And I did that for a great many years. I worked for my parents for almost 20 years. Um, I kept taking ceramic classes at a community college. So in other words, it took me 18 years to graduate from a two-year college, but I finally did get the degree. Um, it was a really inexpensive way to keep myself working with this material. It was $213 a semester to have studio space, kilns, firing time, and it kept me around other people of like ideas with like thoughts and we really love this material. In my early 30s, I was married. I had a huge house, um, acre and a half of land. I mean, I had what would be typically the American dream. But what I didn't have was happiness. So I said, okay, what's really important in life? I had gotten rid of the house. I had sold most of my possessions at that point. I was 32 years old, I was single. I decided that what I didn't want were regrets of my life. And I knew that if I didn't follow my love of ceramics, that eventually I would regret it. While going back to school, Professor Baskin discovered his love for teaching. So I put myself back into school um, at, of course, the two-year college, because who knew where else to go? And I was fortunate to have a really wonderful professor. Not only did he let me teach in his classes, he encouraged it. He helped me to find my love of teaching. And from there, through his guidance, I applied to a four-year university and graduated from there in 2002 with my Bachelor of Fine Arts. Immediately was enrolled in graduate school at the University of South Carolina and earned my master's and was fortunate enough to get a teaching position right out of school, the teaching position of my dreams, I should say, right out of school. I got a tenure track position teaching immediately when I graduated from college. Um, from 32 to 42, no education to a master's, walked out and was really incredibly fortunate to land the position at McNeese State University. So what can students expect to learn when taking the ceramic class? You'll learn to make a historical vessel, you'll learn to make a teapot, and you'll learn to work with ceramics in a sculptural fashion, as well as an introduction to the potter's wheel, which I'm using right now. When you start moving up into the more the intermediate and advanced levels of ceramics, that's when the specialization starts, where I am um, in the fall semesters, I teach throwing on the potter's wheel, which is what I'm doing now, um, exclusively. And in the spring semester, I teach students how to sculpt with ceramics. Throughout the interview, Professor Baskin gave me a grand tour, showing me the pieces of artwork made by some of his students. I not only got to see the skill of these artists, but I learned how much work goes into it. Professor Baskin's work has been featured at several galleries. Some have even been recognized internationally. He continues his work and seems very happy to be a part of McNeese State University. I'm finishing my fourth year at McNeese now, and 
have to say I really love the university. We have support from the president all the way down. We have a great group of faculty members, wonderful students. The culture here is fantastic. The food and the music, what more could anybody ask for? I'm Michelle Ammons, reporting for Inside McNeese.